This is a minimal invasive tricuspid valve repair performed through a five to six centimeter incision lateral to the interaxial line in the fourth fifth interspace. Now, after the mitral valve repair is performed, you can see that I'm dissecting the supervening cava, identifying the right branch of the pulmonary artery both lateral and medially, and then placing a right angle clamp underneath the supervening cava. This is a vessel loop that's encircled twice around the supervening cava, and then you'll see I'll perform a similar maneuver in the inferior vena cava, utilizing a vessel loop as well. It is more difficult to encircle the supervena cava than it is the inferior vena cava. Then at this point, the venous cannula is pulled into the inferior vena cava. I'm applying pressure on both snares, and then when I see the inferior vena cava buckle, I know the cannula is in the inferior vena cava. At this point, I'll release both cable tapes and then fill the right atrium and then open the right atrium towards the inferior vena cava and then up towards the right atrial appendage. Then a pump suction which is placed through my chest tube incision is placed into the supervena vena cava. You'll see I release the supervena vena cava, the blood will come into the right atrium and then I will pass the pump suction into the supervena vena cava and then once again snare the supervena vena cava. Now I have drainage to the supervena vena cava through the pump suction and the inferior vena cava through the venous cannula. A four-hole proline suture is placed on the upper portion of the right atrium due to the fact that the upper portion of the right atrium is flaccid. This is a small Miami Instruments atrial lift blade that's inserted, which is the one I utilize for my tricuspid valve repairs. And this is a small visor which is rolled and then placed directly through the incision onto the receptacle of the small atrial lift blade. This allows retraction of the right atrium. It's important not to trap the Swan-Gans catheter. If this is the case, the Swan-Gans catheter is pulled away and left free in the right atrium. You do not want to grasp the pump suction as well. These are my four tevdek sutures which are placed around the tricuspid valve starting in the mid portion of the septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve. Once all the sutures are in place, I utilize a 26 to 30 millimeter 3D contour annuloplasty ring which is a rigid ring and then at this point I will tie each of the sutures down with a knot tire. I utilize a five knot rule on all of my sutures on both mitral and tricuspid rings and valves. Thereafter the tricuspid valve can be tested although this is not a necessary maneuver. And you can see adequate coaptation of the leaflets. The visor is then removed from the receptacle of the atrial lift blade and then at this point I will close the right atrium in a two-layer closure. The first layer will be a continuous over and over suture line and the second layer, layer which is the hemostatic layer will be a, a mattress closure. The pump suction is removed and then this is the final result that you see at the completion of the operation.